Ah là. Gurave Gaurachandraya Radhika Istadale Krishnaya Krishna Bhaktaya Tad Bhaktaya Namu Namaha Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Adyaita Gadadhar Shivasadi Gaur Bhakta Brinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama राम राम हरि हरि फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई ऑफर माय प्रोस्ट्रेटेड ओबिसेंस टू द लोटस फीट ऑफ माय बिलावर स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर हिज डिवाइन ग्रेस श्री भक्ति प्रमोद पुरी गोस्वामी ठाकुर माय ग्रैंड स्पिरिचुअल मास्टर हिज डिवाइन ग्रेस श्री प्रभुपाद भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर also, I offered the same to all the appointed Acharya of Sri Brahma Rudra Sanak. These are four Sampradayas and pure devotee as well. So, we are talking about Hari Nam Chintamani. Hari Nam Chintamani is written by Shri Bhakti Vinod Thakur. The conversation between Hari Das Thakur and Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu asking question to Lord uh, to Hari Das Thakur. And Hari Das Thakur replying. Now, uh, just Hari Das Thakur describing this. Rahuridashtra was describing through Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Prativimba nama vase mayabhat kapatata utpanna kare. Prativimba nama vase Hypocritical chanting My semblance of chanting is offensive. Hypocritical chanting of Pratibhima Namavas is offensive and not only that, he just uh, Mayabad. Uh, Mayabad also creating Mayabad, create Mayabad. Hmm. What is the Ehi nama vase maya bad dushtamad Prabhesiya satataya hai parinato Ehi maya vase nama vase maya bad dushtamato Prabhesiya means enter Maya bad You can see all the Mayabad. Mostly they have some mind concoction. There is no Praman, no Sastri Praman. Just, just logical. So that is the problem. My Mayabad. Too much. So I think I explained yesterday that it is better to take poison and die instead of associating with Mayavadis. This is explained by our uh, 
Srila Prabhupada Bhakti Siddhartha Thakur. If one chanting this sort of namavas is further corrupted by mayavada, then it turned into a purely hypocritical type of activities. When you are chanting with some material interest, some kind of motivation, which is not connected to the devotion, is my path. If someone say, I am a Bhagavan, especially in Bengal, if you visit all temples, then you can see. Although here Lord Chaitanya appear, but most people, they are following Mayavad. Why? Because they Kali or Sipar Kali. They are also chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Their object, their object just to, uh, they know that chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra, thought fulfilling stone, so he, they, are, they are desire will fulfill in front of Kali. But if they chant, with such idea, Kali is a great devotee of Lord and I am chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra to please Mother Kali, Goddess Kali. Then okay. Because eternally everyone Vaishnavas. But problem is this. Uh, Pratibhimba Navabhas. We are thinking like the moon inside Ganga river. But it is a reflection. We are thinking this is the proper. This is real moon. We are looking that. In this regard, I can give anyone an example that. Just one story to make understand what is our fault. One king He, he offered to uh, to his queen a very expensive necklace with diamond setting, gold. So while the queen is taking bath in one lake, She so kept the necklace one place. It was such a shiny, one crow thinking maybe it is food for him. He took, took that necklace with its beak and he flying. So when the queen's out of bathing, when she came and she saw, there is no necklace anymore. So she thought someone steal. So she, she was, she became really distrustful for the necklace. The king, in order to make her happy, King declared, if anyone give me back the necklace, which necklace my queen's lost, so I will give him, give, I give a half of my kingdom. So happily, all the people, they are trying to search. And then, one day, one person saw 
that necklace describes on what king explained it is inside one lake inside the lake where 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 queens took bath what happened then he become greedy and he jumped to that jumped to that lake to the lake he was searching he saw because water was crystal clean when he jumped all the punky things mixed with uh, water and and he is not able to see anything then he coming out of the water and there's all the punky all the mud muddy uh, which sink under the water then again he see that the necklace is there so he jump again so constantly he is doing so but he see that necklace exact the necklace what king des- describe the necklace is there inside the water so what happened again and again he is jumping and the news spread then he explained the truth i saw the necklace inside the water <clears throat> so everybody searching everybody on unable to find that necklace in the water then one sadhu passing by from the beside the lake he saw so many people they are eagerly searching something inside the lake and they sometimes they are searching they are coming up they let water all the dirt sink under the water water become punky so when they sink under the water then again they are able to see <coughs> so sadhu we watch it <coughs> sadhu no sadhu are intellectual real sadhu are intellectual sadhu they never follow any maya vaad they never run behind in any res- reflection they want to search the source so when everybody saw on the down means under the water there is necklace then he saw on the top of the tree the necklace is hanging there that reflection there in the water actually what happened crow took with his beak and flying and then he sit on the tree then he saw it is not my food he kept it there <clears throat> so sadhu explain all of the hey this next leg is not there it is reflection don't jump any more there look this is the real necklace there you know this is called vaishnava philadafi vaishnava running towards the source not the mayavadi reflection hmm vaishnava never believe that they are god he had human can be god they believe human belongs to god as as god eternal servant that is philosophy of vaishnava practice so when uh, people are unable to understand the vaishnava philosophy uh, and chanting chanting sort of namahavas with then it is also called mayavad 
And Mayabad, understanding Mayabad, I am God. I am chanting, so I become God. This is called Mayabad. Huh? The hypocrisy, purely hypocritical type of activities. So therefore, Bhakti Thakur says, Ei namavase mayabada dushto mano moto Prabesya Prabesya sate hai Purinato Shototaman means hypocritical Shototha So Prabesya means entering Hypocrisy enter So now it is better for us to chant under the guidance of a pure devotees. Even if you read the Shastra, in this regard, Bhakti Vinod Thakur, actually, Shri Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Path says, Jao Bhagavat Pada Vaishnava Varasthane Ekam Tashtray Kara Chaitanya Charane Jao means go. I read Srimad Bhagavatam. Vaishnav uh, means jao, go to the Vaishnav and read Bhagavatam under his guidance and take shelter of Lord Chaitanya. Chaitanya's mercy come down to us through that pure devotees. So therefore, hmm, First of all, we have to take, accept one pure devotee as our guide. Then we are eligible to be free from hypocrite and mayabad. We don't want to involve ourselves with any mayabad philosophy. Hmm? Kapot Pratibimba Namavasi Namaparat. Kapot Pratibimba. Hypocrite. Reflection. Namavas in Namaparat. It becomes offense of chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Nitya Sadhu Name Sadhan Buddhi Kori. Name Mohima Nasi Aparadhe Mori. Nitya Shaddo means what? Eternally it is our object of, eternally it is object of practice. What? Nam. The Nam only Sadhana. Just we think Nam only Sadhana, then we can reach Radha Krishna. Namer uh, Mohima Nashi Aparadha. So we are, it is like a, we are destroying the actual glories of holy name. That is, that offense, that offense put us in trouble. I can give an example. Example is this. We know Harinam. Is sadhana, harinam is shaddam. Even we are, we reach in the abode of Supreme Lord, still we need to chant harinam. Why? Why this thing happened? You can see Chaitanya Charitamrita explain. Krishna mantra hata hava samsara machan. Krishna Nam Hote Baba Krishna Charan through chanting Krishna Mantra means our Diksha Mantra. We are able to cure all our material attachment easily. Of course, if we chant with ritual manner, like sitting on a asana, asana means sitting mat. Do achmana, real achmana, not like a in mind. Proper direction, like after sunset, north face, 
when sun on the sky east face then we do bhuto shuddhi means we are chanting the mantra to purify our inside outside then we chant according to the direction instruction of our previous our our spiritual master then that mantra krishna mantra will allow us to be free from all material attachment sansara mochon and krishna naam hoyte ba krishna mane our ultimate goal to attain lotus feet of krishna and that therefore we have to continue to chant hare krishna mahamantra even the lord chaitanya also explain to subuddhi rai that har krishna naam loite krishna charana hobe sthiti means if we continue chanting hare krishna mahamantra then we are able to be stable under the lotus feet of krishna hmm so this is the uh, but if you think okay the naam only until we are able to reach uh, the abode after that no need to chant any name of any holy name hmm such idea such such understanding is is destroying the glories of holy name and offense to chant hari krishna mahamantra we committed offense so anyway the kapat pati manavas kapat means hypocrite hypocritical chanting for the anama is offensive eternally sadha nitya sadha one who thinks he the name the goal is only a mean to achieve some of end some end minimizes the holy name holy names glories and destroy himself with his offensive i think you understand what i want to say hmm? the naam or nami abhinna this is non different naam should continue rest of our life and eternally you have to chant naam I can give an example on this regard. You know, we you know Radha Rani, Shrimati Radha Rani, coming through Kirti Dadavi and Vishnu Bhavan Maharaj. After their marriage, long time over, they don't have any children. And after marriage. serious couple if they don't have children they feel very bad i think all of you have experience about it so similarly they feel very bad they used to worship kattaini devi and then one day when a bit too much austerity there is a description in brahma uh, brahmand puran the vishwanu maharaj uh in order to, in order to in order to please uh kattani devi devi kattayani so he was standing in one feet even he keep his head on the on the ground and keep leg on the above such austere month after month he follow she was not able to get any baby by a strong desire to get a baby so that time kattani devi says one day when kattani devi saw that this vishwanu maharaj 
really is uh, keeping so much austere life in it uh, for getting a baby. So he says, first of all, you have to take, when Katharine Devi says, you have to take initiation. What initiation? Harinam initiation. This is, this is Bhammanda Puran says. Harinam initiation? Yes. Harinam initiation. So where? Where is my guru? Then Kathrani will say, your guru is Kurtumuni. Where is he now? He is in the, in the near bank of Biroja River. But he is in meditation. You have to go and take initiation from him. So after hearing this, he was such a greedy uh, Vishwan Maharaj to get a baby uh, this with, with his best ability uh, as, as early as possible. He just reached to that Biroja River. You know, where is Biroja River? The river is a seven elevation, you know. Seven, seven planetary system. Seven planetary system like this. Bhu, where we are now, Bhu, upper level, next elevation up. Ah, this is Bhuva, then Mohu, and then Sogan, Sarga, heaven, then Mohu, Jono, Tapo, Sotto. Yes, that Sotto, that abode, Brahmaji living there. After that, Viroja River. So, this is the place. Vishwamanu Maharaj went there. Then they find out his Guru, Krutamuni. But he is in deep meditation. Then, just to make it short, then he, when he just mm, mm, sitting there waiting for when he break, when he bring him this normal, uh, when, he, when the broke, break his meditation, he will approach for initiation. Therefore, he was sitting with lots of patience. And what happened? Krutamuni opened his eyes and asked him. Then he approached for initiation, Harinam initiation. The Dapur Yuga Harinam, Harinam means Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Why? Because Radharani is embodiment of love and Harinam also embodiment of love. Huh? So therefore, Harinam always presence. Without Harinam, you are not able to able to render any service. So therefore, Mayabad or what is that thinking? When you reach when you reach the place, no need like a one staircase you made. Huh? You climb up the tree, top of the tree, then you are thinking, Mayabad means we, we, are, we actually don't need this animal staircase. Moved it. That is called Mayabad. Hmm? They have no steady understanding. Hmm? Logical, not according to Shastra, they are all the explanation. Therefore, Therefore, always we have to be away from uh, that hypocritical or uh, mayavad. Hmm. So, what is ah? Uh, that is a. Hmm. Nitya Sadhya Name Sadhan Buddhi Kori Name Mohima Nashi Aparadhe Mori Nitya Sadhya Hari Nam Eternally It is our 
ওরশিপ মানে কি ওরশিপ ফুল মানে অবজেক্ট অফ ওরশিপ ইটারনালি সাধ্য মিন্স অবজেক্ট অফ ওরশিপ সাধারণ মিন্স সাধনা মিন্স প্র্যাকটিস হেয়ার অ্যাকর্ডিং টু আওয়ার প্রিভিয়াস টিচার হিসে সাধ্য সাধন মিন্স অবজেক্ট অফ ওরশিপ অ্যান্ড প্র্যাকটিস বোথ আর সেম উই আর নট এবল টু স্টপ ইট বিকজ আওয়ার অবজেক্ট অফ ওরশিপ ইজ রাধারানি রাধারানি ইজ এম্বডিমেন্ট অফ লাভ অ্যান্ড দ্যাট এম্বডিমেন্ট অফ লাভ ইন গোলক বৃন্দাবন ইজ হরি নাম তারপর আবার নরোত্তম ঠাকুর কম্পোজ দ্যাট গোলকেরও প্রেমধন হরি নাম ও সংকীর্তন মিন্স ডিভাইন লাভিং ওয়েলথ অব গোলক অ্যাপিয়ার হেয়ার ইন দ্য ফর্ম অফ হরে কৃষ্ণ মহামন্ত্র দেয়ার ফোর ইট ইজ ইট শুড কন্টিনিউ সাধন শুড নট স্টপ আওয়ার সাধন উই শুড নট স্টপ আওয়ার অবজেক্ট অফ সাধন মিন্স অবজেক্ট অফ ওরশিপ অলওয়েজ হরি নাম আর অবজেক্ট অফ ওরশিপ হরি নাম ইজ এম্বডিমেন্ট অফ রাধা কৃষ্ণ উই হ্যাভ টু কিপ ইন আর মাইন্ড অ্যান্ড চান্ট উইদাউট অফেন্স সো ইফ ইউ আর নট থিঙ্কিং অ্যাবাউট লাইক ইউ নো সামটাইম আর থিঙ্কিং ও টু মাচ এক্সারেশন দিস ওয়ান চান্টিং হরি নেম হাউ মাচ কোয়ান্টিটি অফ সিনফুল রিয়াকশান উইল পাস দ্যাট মাচ কোয়ান্টিটি অফ সিনফুল রিয়াকশান ওয়ান পার্সন আনেবল টু কমিট ইন ইজ হোল লাইফ দিস এক্সারেশন নো ইট ইজ ফ্যাক্ট ইট ইজ ফ্যাক্ট হোয়াই ফ্যাক্ট বিকজ ইট ইজ লাইক এ লাইট ওয়ান লাইট ইফ ইউ জাস্ট পুট অন জাস্ট কিপ অন দেন দেন নো ডার্ক ডার্ক নেভার কাম বিকজ লাইট when light come dark disappeared like this room where i am sitting there so many light you can see seven light is there therefore you are able to see me properly if all light off then you cannot see me hmm similarly ha huh? an object of worship is divine couple divine can will appear in the form of hare krishna mahamantra we are eternal servant of supreme lord the eternal you have to chant that is the philosophy chaya nava was bojo nava was bhed there is a difference between shadow semblance of holy name and reflection holy name Hmm? The difference between the shadow and reflection types of Namavash. Huh? This is very interesting, you know. Chaya Namavase matro hoito agyan Hridaya doro bollo hoite anartha vidhan Sehi sab dos naam kare namar jan প্রতিবিম্ব নামাভাসে দোষে বর্ধন দোষের বর্ধন ছায়া নামাভাস শ্যাডো চান্টিং ইন দ্য স্টেজ অফ শ্যাডো টাইপ শ্যাডো টাইপ নাই নামাভাস ইজ সিম্পলি কজ বাই ইগনোরেন্স ইট ইজ ওয়ান অফ দ্য unwanted consequence arising from weakness of the heart no weakness of the heart is very important topics 
What is weakness of our heart? Like you can see, devotee is supposed not to divorce their wife, their husband. But you can see in devotee group because of their Although they know about it, but still they are in that trap. But they want to follow, they know philosophy. Huh? They want to follow the uh, spiritual principles, but they are unable to follow because of the some situation, social, social situation. Hmm. You mean they divorce one and then again they marry again? Hmm. This weakness of heart. Ridaya darubalya haite anartha vidhano. One anartha ridaya darubalya. The Ridadar Bolo, weakness of the heart. Hmm. Like we can see, many people know about the uh, intoxication, which is not allowed while we are practicing devotional path. But you can see, although they are initiated, but still they are in the trap of Smoking, another one is intoxication. But they want to follow properly. It's not like that, that they don't want to follow. They want, but their previous attachment not allowing them to be free from that. Ignorance. That ignorance, one day, by the grace of Lord, it will turn knowledgeable. Hmm? So therefore, we can save ourselves gradually. If we have proper association, we can save some from the such type of Ridhayadar Ullo. Saishav Dosanam Kare Namarajan Nam, if we chant, they say gradually it will pass away, all the tendency of Ridhadarbala, ignorance pass away. Pratimimba Namavas says, Doshira Vardhan. But Pratimimba Namavas, Doshira means always increasing our, our, our guiltiness. The Lord's holy name rectifies all the faults. Whereas Pratibhima Navabha's chanting simply increase them. Pratibhima Navabha is increasing always because we are running behind wrong horse. We are running behind the like, you know this, this material world, like a shadow of, when you can say perverted, perverted of our spiritual abode. But we are trying to be here. You can see, whatever we pray to Lord, always praying some material gain. Never we pray, Oh Lord, please allow me to, allow me to be free from this material attachment and allow me to Establish attachment to serve you. It's very rare people are praying from the bottom of their heart. Hmm. So therefore, Pratibhima Namavas means who is chanting with Mayavad. Mayavad means, again I'm telling you, Mayavad means running behind wrong path. Like I gave an example that everybody 
jumping to the lake, searching that uh, necklace, but actually necklace was in the on the top of the tree. Hmm? So all the Mayavadi, they are running behind the shadow of necklace, reflection of necklace, not real necklace. So anyway, so I think you understand what I am trying to say. The Prabhupada what I am trying to say, that Prabhupada says, Mayabad, the Mayabadi, if we have their association, anyway, better to avoid. Why? Their association will kill our original source of practice. Therefore, try to be careful yourself and and try to associate with pure devotees and go ahead with your spiritual practice and gradually attain the ultimate goal of spiritual practice. What is the ultimate goal of our spiritual practice? To become eternal servant of the Supreme Lord. That's all. So we have to go to eternal abode, Goloka Vrindavan. And in order to reach Goloka Vrindavan, we have to chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra without offense. Then we will get the prem, taste of prem, pure love for Krishna. Then eventually we will reach. We will reach, huh? we will reach the abode of divine couple, Guru Vrindavan. But with this body, no. This body is not allowed. We have to get one eternal form, eternal age, eternal service, eternal outfit, eternal service, everything eternal. Therefore, so we are talking, we are reading the uh, Bhakti Manatagur Harinam Chintamani and think about think about it in your mind and avoid Mayabad and go ahead of chanting also avoid offenses it will give you uh, it, it will allow you to reach the ultimate goal of spiritual practice to become eternal servant of Supreme Lord Hare Krishna.